Hello everybody. If you look on the post below, you will see that we are now watching the second episode of the Speak Up and Inspire series. I am going to be um, having Katrina, who was one of our speakers, join me to discuss the second episode of the Speak Up and Inspire series. If you look in my events, you will see the link as well, and you will see the um, event that we are doing the live cast for. So I hope that you will join us again. Please go to my wall. You will see the YouTube link for the second episode of the Speak Up and Inspire series. The speakers were uh, Katrina Thomas, Avia Terry, and Alicia Richardson. So Miss Katrina is going to join us so that we can discuss the second episode. We already started an intro to it in the event, so we are looking forward to having you join us. We will wait for Miss Katrina to join us here in a second. Hello, Rob. How are you? If you go to my wall, Rob, you will see the YouTube link of the second episode of the Speak Up and Inspire series that we taped on September 30th. It's my documentary series of survivors sharing their stories. So maybe you can watch. So we have already started watching and we have gone through the introductions. So I hope that you will join us. Again, the link is on my page so that you can watch the second episode with us. The link is on my wall. It's also in the event that you most likely received. Hello, Rob. Hello, Rhonda. Hi, Katrina. Katrina, I'm going to go ahead and add you now. Um, the link is on my page, everyone, where you can um, watch the second episode with me and with Katrina. So I am adding it right now. And I'm making it public for those that are in the event but are not on my friends list. And I hope that you will join us and listen to it. So I am posting the link now once again. Hi, Andre, how are you? You can find the link on my wall. So if you can take a moment and open it up and just look at it, even if you don't stay for the whole time. But if you can just join us and tune in then um, you will see what we're talking about. It's my documentary series um, about survivors and they are sharing their personal stories. And um, you can hear some of the stories of Katrina Thomas, um, Avia Terry and Alicia Richardson. I am waiting for Katrina to come back. Where is she? There she is. Okay, so we will get Katrina on the line. She is one of our speakers. And so if you are watching right now, can you please um, type or wave so I know that you're watching? Hello. Hey, Katrina, trying to get you on. Not sure why I can't get you. There we go. I'm adding you now. We are waiting for Katrina to come on. 
So if you are watching the um, the second episode of the Speak Up and Inspire series, um, I see Andre is on. I see Morgan is here. I see that Rob is here. I see Rhonda is here. You can you just log into your YouTube and look at it. Watch it for a couple of minutes. You can always come back to it later, but we would love for you to just go ahead and click on the link that's on my wall and go to it so that way that you can um, see what we're talking about and meet our uh, our speakers. We have Katrina. Hi, Miss Katrina. Hey, how you doing? How are you doing? I'm good. Chilling with my sister. She on one like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming back we went from the event wall to my personal wall so that we can have more people to join us so this okay. is miss katrina she shared her story with us on the speak up and inspire uh, episode two um she has a very very inspirational and <clears throat> and very personal story that she shared with us. So we um, wanted to make sure that she was on. So if you had any questions of me or you had any questions of her, then you can just let us know. Katrina, you already shared in the um, on the event wall um, how you felt when it came to the Speak Up and Inspire series. So share with us on your way home, because you live in Georgia, on your way home, what were you thinking? After you recorded the Speak Up and Inspire series, what were you thinking? I was thinking that, wow, what a difference we're going to make in some life about abuse and also how we need to keep this going all the time. And Tiffany, we need to applaud her for even putting something like this together for women to see and hear. I think, you know, this is like, so inspirational to so many that you know you can't stop so my thing was well we're going to keep this going we're going to stay motivated we're going to keep going around making a difference to different states about this and i think the show should really like even go on the road because this is awesome i i just felt so inspired and i felt so good and i felt like i got a real sisterhood the ladies that i met they are all awesome they their stories were so oh my god so deep tears were flowing yeah. but it was so it was just inspiring to me and I think Tiffany should really take this out and on the road because I think you know what a lot of people need this they need it and they deserve it so, you know what they deserve it you'll know what's going on you'll, you'll find out some new information and some resources you'll get some excellent books also mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm I'm very excited about it. It was supposed to only be a um a year long series, but I have a feeling that it's going to grow into something more. Um, I see that we have Miss Nicolian. Miss Nicolian was one of our first speakers on our first episode. Hi, sweetheart. Hello, Miss Nicolian. Hi, Sherry. So right Hi, now Sherry. we are watching this second episode of the speak up and inspire series the link is on my page so even if you can't watch the whole episode please um go into your youtube follow the link and at least like it and save it so that you can watch it later hello michael hello james hello michael hello james Miss Nicolian, are you um, able to come live with us for a second since you were one of our first um, speakers? I know I'm catching you off guard, but if you're able to, we would love to have you on for a few seconds. Let me know. Hello, Michael. Thank you for joining us and supporting the Speak Up and Inspire series. The link is on my page, my personal wall. You can go to the YouTube link and you can save it and share it if you don't have time to watch it right now. But please at least go in and begin listening. Um, the Speak Up and Inspire series is a documentary that I started to share survivor stories so that they can inspire others to speak up about their views. <laughs> we have Miss Katrina live with us right now. Good evening. She was Good one evening. of our speakers. Hi, Tamika. Hello, beautiful. Hello, Tamika. Good evening to you. 
So tell us, Katrina, what is your next, what's your next project? What are you working on right now? My next project that I'm working on is this teen summit that I'm trying to get together for in Georgia. I just posted it on my page. And when I tell you, I'm getting so many responses for people who want to speak. And the reason why I want to do a teen summit, because also I'm introducing Jarvis J. Scott. <laughs> and we want to, we know he is just awesome. Yes, yeah, 17 years old. But when I tell you the power behind him, he going to have y'all standing up and clapping and He's just awesome. And this is a coming out for him. So we're getting it all together. And I want to do it for November 17th, but. Okay. Oh, okay. Let, let me be specific about coming out. My coming out means come to the event. My sister just said that. That's my, that's my new mom. Right. I don't mean coming. Right. I don't mean coming out like that, like coming out the closet. I mean coming out to the event to support. Thanks for clarifying that. Thank right. you. <laughs> Only my sister would come up with something like that. So Nothing maybe. wrong with that. Nothing wrong with coming out the other way, but this is not about that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but this is not about that. This is about also we wanna we wanna give awareness on teen violence. So this is what we're gonna do, the teen summit. I'm gonna have all the information on my page. Whoever is willing to come out and support and speak, inbox me, please. We need some men. We need some men to come well, out. You know, and I'm there. So just give me yes, some details. And I need to. Yes, and I'll send everyone. Yes, sis. I'm gonna send you the details. So if there's anyone tonight. If you see the speakers and you enjoy them, I want them there as well. Everyone that was at Speak Up Series, please come on and support. We need to go on with the next generation and showing them how to steer their stuff away from violence and the dating violence is in the schools. So that's my next big project. Then after that, I think I'm taking a break for a little while, just to rest up. But for the holidays. I'm, always on, I'm always on the grind. <laughs> I want to say hello on. to a couple of people. I see Tamika's okay. watching. Charlotte Harris Eric Grant is watching. Hello, honey. Hello, Miss Quanis. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, Hello Mindy. Mindy. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. So if you have just joined us, we are watching the second episode of the Speak Up and Inspire series live. If you go to my wall, you will see the link to the series. It's a documentary of survivors sharing their story of domestic violence and sexual assault. Um, I'm sure that we're probably not all watching it at the same time during the same seconds. So right now I am watching Avia Terry um, sharing her story. Hello, um, she was a child survivor and she watched her mother um, go through several abusive relationships. So she yeah. gives us a different perspective, not as a survivor herself, but as a child of, um, of a victim and how the effects of abuse on her as a child growing up. Hello, James. Thank you for joining us, my Hello, podcast James. mentor. Hello, Kalima. Hello, oh, Gorgeous. Yes. Hello, Paris. Thank you for joining us. Tell wifey hello. Hello, yeah. Mr. Bruce. Hello, handsome. Thank you for joining us. So if you're just joining us, then we are watching the second episode of the Speak Up and Inspire series. We have Katrina Thomas with us. She is one of the speakers spoke for us on the second um, series. I'm sorry, the second episode. Uh, she is the second speaker. So right now I'm watching Avia Terry. Some of you might be a little bit further along than me. Um, but right now I'm watching Avia. She's the first speaker. So if you go to my wall, if you can just click on the link, even if you can't watch the whole thing, please save it and share it to your wall so that you can come back and watch it later and also share it with others. Um, we're in a movement right now to help reduce domestic violence and violence against women and families, um, but also to reduce uh, domestic violence homicides. We've had, I believe, over 50 so far right here in Mecklenburg County, right here in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. um, Katrina, do you know your stats where you are? Right now, I think it's been, well, we just recently had a teenage girl that was killed. So now I think it brought it up. It's been how many deaths? It's been about 60. Mm. And it's been about 60. And the most recent one was like two weeks ago. Yes, two weeks ago, a young girl was shot and her boyfriend was the one that killed her. 
Yes. And mm. um, her grandmother actually wants to be involved with the Teen Summit, too. So hopefully we can get her involved. Good evening, Miguel. So there's a lot going on. There's a lot of different places where we need to make a difference. And, you know, some of these laws need to be changed. And she was a victim who she didn't really get any help. And that's the sad part, when people don't know how to get to the resources or to get um, someone to support them. Right. And that's very sad. Yeah, um, I do uh, speaking engagements, and um, one that I do is on teen violence, teen dating violence. So mm -hmm. I go into different organizations and talk to um, teens and use about teen dating violence and let them know what that looks like and let them know that it's it's not cute when you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend who needs to always know where you are and mm -hmm. seems like you can't have friends and they're taking your phone and calling you names and stuff like that. That is a sign of domestic violence. Any intimate violence or any intimate emotional or mental abuse is still domestic violence. So mm -hmm. a lot of teens think that because someone is overly protective or overly mm -hmm. jealous yeah. or something like that, cute and that they love me and stuff like that and that's that's, that's not, not true cute. that's not cute. not cute and you know that's why when we when we do this teen summit sis that's why i'm saying this teen summit <laughs> should lead up to us going into schools and giving awareness on teen violence we really need it in all schools because again we like do. you said some people think it's cute it's not cute right it's not cute at it's all not. and if you start off dating and thinking that certain behaviors are okay, you're going to think that those behaviors are okay in your adult life. And um, so reaching the kids now and teaching them about the signs of domestic violence and even sexual assault, what kind of things to look for, um, what kind of people are more prone to be abusers, um, the behaviors mm -hmm. that you should be cautious of, and always trust your gut. If it doesn't feel right, don't, don't move forward. Right. Don't, mm -hmm. don't move forward. Anybody who wants to control you and, and wants to know your whereabouts at every waking moment, you can't go out, you can't dress the way you want. Those are signs. You guys take that seriously. Those are signs of what could be when you're in a relationship with somebody who's an abuser. And you know, don't don't ever put anybody above you because you know you come first. You know, and if they right. can't give you that unconditional love without boundaries, then you know that's not the person for you. You know, right. your boundaries can be set, but not the type of boundaries of control. Right. Right. Control and there, right. right. And there are things that, you know, people do that might not be abusive. I mean, for instance, someone saying, you know, I don't want you to go out with such and such. That might be a genuine concern. But when a person starts to alienate you from mm -hmm. your friends and family and doesn't want you to go anywhere, needs to know your every move, needs to control who you, who you associate with, how you dress and so forth. And that's when it becomes control. There's a difference between concern and control and our children that's need right. to know that, especially our young ladies. That's right. That was a great point. So I'm looking mm -hmm. and Miss um, Avia is still talking. And, you know, she's talking more about um, the effects of being a child um, growing up in an abusive family. So if you are watching with us, then yeah, please watching. post any comments or questions here on the I'm thread. I'm watching something about I'm to answer them. If you are not able to listen to the whole thing with us, then please save it bookmark it and share it so that others can watch it as well because again this is a movement to reduce domestic violence and sexual assault in our communities and right now we are talking to Katrina Live who's our second speaker um, on the episode yes, it is. <laughs> so, uh, Katrina when is the summit going to be November 17th okay that is a Monday Saturday Okay. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Okay. November 17th, sis. What day is that on? That's on Saturday. That's a Saturday. Yes. It's a November Saturday. 7th. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And I have nothing planned that weekend. It's going to be there okay. in Georgia. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. 
All right, so Des, definitely send me the information. If you have any okay. information you can share on this on this um, this live uh, thread, please share it. And also any information, please share it with me on my wall too. Okay, I sure will. Um, if you guys are interested in that team summit, please inbox me your bio. I'm looking for speakers, men and women. Even if there's a team that's just like my nephew, Jarvis Scott, inbox me on Messenger or my email, all lowercase letters, Katrina Thomas, uh, period, L-Y-N-M-A at gmail.com. That is the email for the organization, Loving Yourself No More Abuse. We're looking for anyone who wants to talk about the experience with teen violence. Um, we want awareness. We want anyone who has that education on those type of things. So please, let's unite for the fight. And that is men and women. I want all to come out and to support this event. Oh, I said it like that this time, sis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, sis. How are you? I'm good. Hello. That's my sister. Evan. Hello. I'm tired. <laughs> well, thank you for supporting my sis over there. Yes. <laughs> we need we need more people in the community that are as passionate as us about um fighting this this fight against domestic violence yes it's it's it is heavy everywhere mm -hmm. a lot of people say you say the sickness is the, the beat on folks and it's not good and that go for women to beat on me they go vice versa too you got some abusive women too to make a man abusive one time Right. Hello, Bruce. Are you requesting to come online with us? It looks like you're requesting. Of course, we would love to hear a male's perspective. We will have you on if you want me to invite you, because that's what it looks like. Let me know. We need more. Yeah, more men. Some men go through that too. Good evening, Sleazy D. We definitely need more men who are willing to speak up about some misuses out there. Men can be victims too. You're yeah. right. Okay. That's right. Okay. okay. <laughs> we got some out there. I think that says Bruce. Good evening, Bruce. Yeah, yeah, that was Bruce. Bruce. So he said no, he wasn't trying to Okay. Thank you, Bruce. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is his name, Bruce. Gilmore. <laughs> yes, <laughs> mm -hmm. yes, that's facts, Bruce. Yes. Um, we do have men that are victims of domestic violence. Let me look up some statistics so that we can share that since we have a couple of guys watching. Give me one second. I had one of my classmates that was like, yeah, I told you if you got that relationship, she got to be hitting you. I think he said enjoying. Or oh, I got to get me some glasses, really. So enjoying listening. Okay. Okay, so I'm looking up statistics to thank you, Kalima, for joining us. I hope that you will continue watching the rest of it when you get a chance. All right, so I'm looking for it says one in 10 men in the U.S. have experienced rape. And let me see what it says about domestic violence. I'm still here, sis. I had to get a chair. My back is like killing me. Okay, so some facts here says that um, more than 12 million women and men over the course of a year are victims of rape, physical violence, or stalking by an intimate partner. Um, it says that um, that nearly half of all of women and men in the United States have experienced psychological aggression by an intimate partner. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Still looking. Give me a second. Uh, Hello. Yeah. I want to try to get some recent information. Mm 
It says more than 40% of domestic violence victims are male. Mm -hmm. um, this was reported. Let me see. I'm about to go get my thing and look up. Let's see. Yeah. This ain't no game. I'm going to go to this. Yeah. I'm going to this one too. It's like I missed the ad. Okay, so it says more than 40% of domestic violence victims are male, a report reveals. It says about two in five of all victims of domestic violence are men, contradicting the oh, widespread impression that it's almost always women who are left battered and bruised. It says men assaulted by their partners are often ignored by police, see their attacker go free, and have far fewer, ref, ref, uh, sorry, uh, far fewer... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Refugees to flee uh, to than women. I so it's saying that um, domestic violence, um, mm -hmm. the men, when they're assaulted, then they are not taken seriously. Um, their attackers are usually set free immediately, and they have fewer places to go. So, for instance, um, Safe Alliance is an all women shelter here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I do not know of any men's domestic violence shelters. Do you know of any, Katrina? Say it again. I didn't hear that question back. Do you know of any shelters that domestic that men can go to if they're victims of domestic violence? There's one called Genesis. Okay. And where is that that's located? In, that's in Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. It's downtown Atlanta. They have one okay. for women and one for men. And they oh, I'm sorry. And they're getting ready to open one out here in um Warner Robins, Georgia. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. well, that's something that we could use here in Charlotte because I don't believe there is one. I will look into that and find out, but I have not heard of a domestic violence shelter here in Charlotte mm -hmm. for men. So that shows right there that this article mm -hmm. that I'm reading is accurate because it says that men right. do not have, have very few refugees to flee to. Um, yeah, when it comes it's to true. It's violence. true. Yeah, so, yeah, they they do. They favor women name? more. Um, that's Tiffany. Tiffany. Yeah. Yes. A lot of a lot of yeah, they, they a lot of folks don't look at it because they feel like they're men and they the men are supposed to be strong and not, you know. Yeah. You got a lot of men in abusive relationships. I had a friend in high school, his girlfriend used to just come up, he talked to a girl, she used to just slap the piss out here for no reason. Mm. Just he talk to somebody. Then you had to stop being friends because of that. That's not good. If there are mm. any men that are watching, which I see that there are several, if you've ever been a victim of domestic yeah, violence or sexual assault or any kind of aggression mm -hmm. by a female, oh um, tell you us, have you ever been a victim of domestic violence? And if so, did you report it? So I would like to know if anybody, any of the men that are watching, yes well, or no, have you ever been a victim of domestic violence or assault Tiffany. by a woman? Tiffany, here goes Jarvis. He wants to say something about the teens. There Hi, goes Jarvis. Jarvis. How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing good, handsome. It's nice to see you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm nervous. I don't like speaking in front of the camera, but I'll speak in front of a crowd. And she just okay. put me on the spot All right. Like, well, just okay. consider this a crowd. We've got about 10 people watching you right now, honey. So tell us about the teens that you're going to be a part of. Um... She said, what again? I tell her about the teen summit that I'm putting together. And I'm going to have you speak. Well, I just found out about the teen summit today. Right. But okay. I found out that I'm supposed to be a main speaker. And I'm going to bring forth a message. Well, I'm not going to preach anything, but I'm going to bring forth a message. What I did last time, but I'm putting a little twist on it. It's called, know that you are a green olive tree in your household. Referencing from okay. all songs. I can't call it right now because it's been a while since I looked at it. But it's telling okay. you how you should. I'm, it's the speech is about telling you how you should know your worth. You understand what I'm saying? How you should know yes, your sir. worth. What you mean to people. How you're supposed to love yourself. You have to love yourself before you can love anybody else. Amen. You have to learn that you are a green olive tree in your household. The Bible says that you are a green olive tree in the house of God, but not only in the house of God should you know that you are a green olive tree, but you should also know that you are that in your household. The reason okay. why the olive tree is because with the olive tree, no matter what habitat you are in, no matter how dry the soil is, the roots are still run deep to find some type of water, some type of source of water for it to live. So what we need to 
tell these teenagers and all these people that are going through the things they're going through, their source of water is God. Understand what I'm saying? They have to realize that God can bring them out of anything they are going through. That is so true. Is the source of water. We need to learn how to have our roots run deep into our source. Get into our word. Read the Bible. Go to church. Assemble yourselves upon many other Christians and have strong faith. Understand what I'm saying? So what we're going to do is what we see what we're going to do is with the team. I'm gonna have to teach them how to. I'm trying to teach them how to love themselves. Now I've never been through anything like with domestic violence, but I I, I know how to talk to people when it comes down to people loving themselves. I know a lot of people that really don't have good self esteem. They have very low self esteem. We talk about themselves, call themselves ugly, or they've been through many things. But I am here to be that source. Understand what I'm saying? to be able to help them through their storm, to be able to sit there and talk to them and listen to their problems and, and find out what's going on within their everyday life. That's my job as the youth advisor of the organization of Loving Yourself No More Abuse. So when the team hey, comes in, I'm going to have a message ready for you. Know that you are a green on a tree in your household, and I can't wait for it to begin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. How old are you? <laughs> she um, want to interview. I just turned 17 two weeks ago. That's my baby. Wow. That's my baby. Wow. <laughs> Good job, mom. Good job. That is amazing. <laughs> and my hey, grandmother. Definitely something to be proud about. Definitely something to be proud about. Yes. That is amazing. Well, I hope to meet you um, next month, Jarvis, and hopefully you can be on our panel for our men. I'm going to send Katrina some information, and we would love to have you on our panel, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Nice meeting um, you. Everybody, nice that meet. is, how can, how can we find you on, on Facebook or, or um, Instagram? My Facebook is my name, Jarvis Scott. So just type okay. it in. It's on um, when you find a picture, it's a picture of me and a whole bunch of band kids with instruments. And you'll find it. My auntie, she'll send you the link to, or uh, she'll send you my account or whatever she need to do. She'll handle that for you. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, so that's then Jarvis Scott, that. everybody. Look then him up. All, he, is in a, okay. you know he is an aspiring you. speaker, and um, he has a lot to talk about. He's inspiring our youth. So we will be meeting him next month, and we will go live so that you can see that we have met the, the Mr. Jarvis Scott, and we will have him on the Speak Up and Inspire series. All right, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "He said, Auntie, you put me on the spot, but I had to get him out there. I had to get him out there. He is so awesome. You guys I also go awesome. on my. He is go on my page and look at him sing and preach. He, oh my God, he'll have you in tears. What a blessing! Don't we need more kids like him? We do. We definitely do. We're trying to we're trying to train the twins right now so that when they are seventeen years old, they they're going to be a force to reckon with. <laughs> That's right. That's right." Amen. But you guys, um, what was it? We were trying to tell you guys, Jarvis, this is so small. I can't even see this thing right here. So if you are watching right now, we have several people that have come on. Um, we want to let you know that on my wall um, is, the, um, is the link. We are looking at the second episode of the Speak Up and Inspire series. The second um, episode is... Um, featuring Katrina Thomas, who is live with us now, Avia Terry, and Alicia Richardson. Um, the Speak Up and Inspire series is a documentary that I started um, to have a platform for survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault to share their stories. The link is on my wall. So even if you cannot watch the whole thing tonight, please bookmark it, save it, and share it so that other people can watch it as well. Because we are in a movement right now. We are in a fight to save our families, to save our women, to save our girls, to even save our men and our boys from domestic violence and sexual assault. But just violence, period, in the home, um, it, it is growing. And the only way for us to help fight it and to reduce it is to share our stories. And that's the whole motivation behind the Speak Up and Inspire series. Um, Ms. Katrina, is um, taking time out to be live with us. I know I've been talking a lot. So if you're watching it, I hope that you are 
um, hearing all of the good information that um, the women are sharing. Um, also, please share it with your families. Um, the this, this Speak Up and Inspire series, it is family friendly. So we're sharing these stories, but your children need to hear it as well. Um, my kids uh, were in and listened to the first episode with me. We're probably going to sit down in a week and watch the second episode. Um, so share it with your families. Talk about it. Share it on your walls. Get some feedback um, because domestic violence is growing. We are losing people every single day to domestic violence, domestic violence. people that we know, our neighbors, our co-workers, our, our churchgoers. It, domestic violence is everywhere, no matter the, no matter the race, no matter the income. Um, domestic violence is is everywhere. Okay, you guys, just speaking from a, a man's perspective, um, this is something that's not being talked about. That's part of the problem is that we're not talking about it. Um, you know, whether we're scared or, or what the case may be, we're not talking about it. So this is an important uh, time to be a voice. That's what this is all about, is being a voice to, to bring the awareness, to bring up the problems, so we can talk about the problem, we can talk about the solution. Um, very important, very important. Thank you. Um, awesome. So I see that Kelly is watching. Hello, Kelly. She's in Georgia right there with you, Miss Katrina. Um, we Good have evening, Russell. Kelly. He is in, are you in Philly, Russ? or New York, New Jersey, you're up top somewhere. Let us know where you're at. If everybody can type in and let us know where you're watching from, we would love that. Um, I also see uh, Kwanya is watching with us. Hello, Kwanya. I hope I pronounced that right. Kwanya is Kwanya. Hi, Russ. Hey, how are you doing? Hi, Sleazy D. How are you doing? Hi, <laughs> Tiffany. Thank you for joining us. Hello, Hi, Ginger. Tiffany. Hello, beautiful. Thank you for joining us. Hello, Ginger. <laughs> Russell said that the women be whooping that ASS. Yes, women do fight. That. They will fight you. So yes. that's why we made a point of saying that men can be victims oh, of Tiffany, domestic you're violence. you're in Atlanta, Georgia? Awesome. I would love to talk to you if you would like to join in with the team. Summit, I'm Tiffany Anderson. Inbox me, Katrina Thomas, or email, lowercase, Katrina Thomas, period, L-Y-N-M-A, at gmail.com. Yes. And if there are any men on here that are watching, if you've ever been a victim of domestic violence or sexual assault or any violence within your family, please um, let us know. Reach out to us. Um, we would love to hear your story. We're going to be doing um, some male panels. We were going to do one, but it looks like we have several people that want to talk. So we're going to have more than one panel now. Um, so if you want to share your story, please contact me. Please inbox me. Um, because men are victims of domestic violence and sexual assault as well. And a lot of times men do not report it because they aren't taken seriously. People think that a man that is a victim of domestic violence is less than a man. That's not yeah. true. A lot of times men are victims because they refuse to hit the woman back because they are being That's a man. Right. They are mm -hmm. being a there, there doesn't make them less of a man. They just believe in not hitting a woman back. And so they become victims. And just like women have a hard time getting getting away, men can have a hard time too. Because women, yeah. I'm a woman, I know that we can be treacherous. <laughs> if we, we don't want you to leave, we go through we a, lot of methods, a lot of different methods exactly. for you not to leave. So men can be victims. We also have same-sex um, victimization. Yeah between mm -hmm. uh, lesbian couples, uh, homos homosexual cu couples, male, male couples. So domestic violence is everywhere. It's in every preference, it's in every race, it's in every age range. So um, we're speaking up about it. That's what the Speak Up and Inspire series is about. So for those of you who have just joined us, hi, Adrian. Hi, Clarissa. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Adrian. Hi, Sophia. Sophia. Sierra. Good evening. Hello, everyone. Hi, Yashika. Hello. I'm about to do a shout out for Yashika with KB926. Let me tell you, that girl has some outfits. She has a boutique, and they are fire. Katrina, the kind of stuff you like to wear, she got it. 
Yeah, shout awesome. out to the thick women, though. Yeah, for the thick girls. All the curves. Thick girls. Oh, <laughs> all right, now. I'm about to come Y'all going to have me moving down to North Carolina. It's just too much going on. I'm going to be moving down there. I'm going to have to buy a house. Yeah, so Yashika Russell, look her up, um, Katrina. Her um, okay. clothing line is KBKABI926. She has awesome, an awesome boutique for us thick women. She just added... Um, I'm going to say regular size, mm, the little girls. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> but she caters to us thick women. She caters to us thick women, but she just That's added the, the smaller sizes. So you need to check oh, her out. Okay. I'm going to take, um, I'm also, gonna take uh, her <laughs> um, The gala from the other night for uh, Divination, um, somebody brought up a good point there. Um, one of the speakers was talking about uh, coming from good stock and mm. this was this was very very interesting you know she said she came from a home of a preacher you know that the family they had good money it was you know relationships you know 30 40 years married sister was married brother was married all that good stuff you know what I'm saying? so they had good role models and still you know found themselves in the situation of domestic violence not once but twice so it doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter who you know. It doesn't matter what kind of home you came from. It doesn't matter if you got money. It doesn't matter if you're the smartest person on the planet. Anybody can get it. Anybody can be a victim. Anybody. It does not matter. And just because oh, it just happens once and you think that you, know, you made it through or whatever, doesn't mean that it can't happen again. So um, just know that it's, it's, it can happen to anybody. Anybody. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Um, and that's Cedric. Cedric is um, my husband. He's going to be on the male panel that we are planning for January. Um, right now, I am watching the second episode, and you are on now, Katrina, sharing your story. So if anybody is watching live, um, I'm sure that we're at different um, parts of the video, but please go to my go to the YouTube link on my personal wall. You can go on there to the link. Please save it and watch it at your convenience. Um, we have three speakers: Katrina, who is on live with us right now, Alicia Richardson, and Avia Terry. They are all sharing their story. The Speak Up and Inspire series was started for survivors to share their story so that they can inspire others to speak up as well. So. Um, Katrina did an awesome job. Um, she is speaking right now. And um, Katrina is going to be putting on a teen summit to um, educate teens about um, different issues, um, namely violence and dating violence, but also domestic violence. Um, right. And our plan, Butterfly Business Project and the Speakers Series to be there in November. So she will share some information on our wall. I will share it with others as well. Um, so if you're interested in being a speaker, it the where's the location? Where's the event going to be? Katrina? We're going we're gonna to do it and it's going to be Perry, Georgia and it's going to be called the Flint Building. It's very nice. It's very comfortable you can feel comfortable you don't have to feel unsafe because it's going to be security and everything it's just going to be a great situation for us to open up and we want to have open discussions on dating and sexual assault uh dating violence domestic violence as tiffany said we're going to get the flyer together and i will be posting that on tiffany's wall as well everything will be coming together by this weekend and i will post it on everybody's wall um, just please, let's come out and do this. We need to take the next generation into education about all violence, okay? We cannot be silent anymore. My thing is shatter the silence. My youth advisor, Jarvis Scott, he gonna set you on fire because we need, bring your kids, bring your nieces, bring your nephews, bring all children. I don't even care what age they are because we really need to start as young as we can to get these teens to understand what is going on. Because again, like myself, someone who was in a domestic violence um, relationship, what your kids see is what they might end up doing their self only because they saw it from where they were surrounded with. And you know, if we start to educate and give them 
the tools that they need not to be like that with their woman or their man or like the, like Tiffany said, same sex relationship, then we're making a difference out here. We have to educate. And Cedric make a great point. It's not about what kind of home you came from, money. If you came from money or if you didn't come from money, it's still going to hit you somewhere down the line. It hits home. It hits somewhere in your family. You can't say there's nobody in your family who hadn't been abused. You just may not have heard them talk about it. <laughs> okay. Okay. And, and I, I see Miss um, Ginger is watching, and she said that she works in child welfare and that they are hyper vigilant and service focused for families who are victims of domestic viol domestic violence. Thank you, Ginger. Thank you for being you, part Ginger. of the, the movement. I see that uh, Tay is watching. Hello, Tay. Tay has worked in mental health, working with um, with youths. So I will talk to him, Katrina, about your summit that you're putting on because he would be a great um, uh, mentor for the kids. Um, he's worked you. with kids with um, in group homes and foster homes. So I will make sure that he gets the information for the teen summit next week. I mean, thank sorry, you. next week. Hello, okay, Lisa. Thank you. Hello, Lisa. Women Reaching Higher is on with us. Hello, gorgeous. Thank you for joining us. We are talking about the Speak Up and Inspire series episode two. The link is on my wall. We are watching it right now and Katrina is actually talking in front of me while I'm watching. She is also online with us. Um, we're just having some commentary about the Speak Up and Inspire and just sharing some information. We hope that everybody will um, go to the link and save it so that you can watch it either now with us or later with your family, your friends, and, and share it with your networks, please, because we are on, in a, on a mission right now to reduce domestic violence, sexual assault, and violence in families. Um, so please share it on your walls, share it on your social media, share it in your groups. Um, Lisa and I have partnered up to do some networking events and feed the families um, in Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. for Thanksgiving. So I am looking forward to that. Lisa has her organization, Women Reaching Higher. Um, she is a beautiful soul. She has a beautiful spirit. And I'm looking forward to our partnership. Amen. That's awesome. Hello, Sierra. Hi, Sierra. How are you doing? Sierra is also an advocate and a survivor. Um, the gala was not recorded um, that I know of. I have asked, and so far, we do not think the gala was recorded. Um, she also made a good suggestion to take a group down for the teen summit, um, Katrina. So maybe that's yeah. something that we can talk about here. If you would like to help me with that, I would okay. try to put it together, to some people down for the summit. Okay, I definitely can. Thank you, Sierra. And Sierra, you can go to author Jean Benton's page to see the photos, but I don't think that there was any um, any video taken. Hello, Kenyon. He's in Atlanta too, Miss Katrina. Oh, hello, hello Kenyon. Kenyon. Okay, Kenyon. Hello, okay. My I was trying to make up name. I didn't know what it was. Thank you hello. for joining us. Marquez is in Atlanta too. Hello, Marquez. Marquez. Oh, I love hello, this. Hello, Ben. Hello, Tank. How you doing? They're in Atlanta too. Wow. Hello, Tang. I hope to hear from you guys. I need a lot of men to be coming out and speaking up. We do. I'm, I'm like we need so more men high. to speak up. Yeah. Yeah. We need more men to speak up. And even if you haven't been a victim of domestic violence or um, violence in the family, we just need men to support. We really do. Right. That makes a big difference, really especially when we go into the shelters and talk to the ladies. It's good for them to see positive men in the community um, mm -hmm. and for them to know that not, not, not all men are bad and not all men are abusive. So even if you That's have funny. not been victims, it would be really nice to have your presence, Marquez. Tank Kenyon when during the teen summit next month that's going to be in the Atlanta area um, and just any forms for domestic violence. Um, I know you guys in Atlanta, you're always welcome to join, join and support Butterfly Visions in the Speak Up series here in Charlotte, but also Katrina's um, organization. Katrina, tell us briefly about your organization right there in Atlanta. It's called Loving Yourself No More Abuse. You got to charge my phone. Up. It's called Loving Yourself No More Abuse and we are located in Riverdale, Georgia, but I recently have came to Perry, Georgia. So now we are in Perry, but we're doing our events all over. 
Um, we are an organization who we're helping with food, we're helping with shelter, we're helping with placement, we're helping with children having meetings and counseling with us to learn on how to build itself in a relationship, not just uh, with a partner, but also with your family, because it starts at home. You have to have a loving family and have a committed foundation at home also when you take it outside those doors. That is how we learn and that's how we get our wisdom. It starts at your home. So this is an organization that is about love and compassion. We are women and men of God. So we put God first. And with that, we take that and we go with it. And we try to show that all around. So if you are a woman or a man or a young lady or a man, please reach out. We're here. We want to help you. We don't turn you away. We don't judge you because judgment is not ours. It is God's. Thank you, Katrina. So you can You're look welcome. her up. Ms. Katrina Thomas, and you can support her, her organization right there in Atlanta. There's several people online right now who are in the Atlanta area. Um, we have a lot of guys that are listening in right now. Thank you for joining us, guys. We need men's support in this fight against domestic violence and sexual assault. Um, women need to know that not all men are bad, not all men are abusive, but also they need to know that men can be victims too. Hello, Tony. How are those babies, Tony? Thank you Good for watching. Tony. Hi, Yvette. Hi, guys, everybody. Yvette is online. This is my oldest sister, Yvette. She is watching. Thank you for joining us, Yvette. I love you. Oh, Good evening, Yvette. I look forward to meeting <laughs> you one day. Yes. Um, hi, D. Ashley. That's my sister-in-law. Hi, D. Ashley. How's the family? Good Love you. Good evening, for everyone, that, for everyone that's just joined, there is a link on my page for you to watch the second episode of the Speak Up and Inspire series. It is a documentary that I started during the summer for survivors to share their stories and inspire others to speak up and share their stories and join the um, advocacy efforts to reduce domestic violence, sexual assault, and violence in the family. Hi, Yvette. She's been such a big support to me, Katrina. Uh, See, now I'm about to cry. <laughs> She's uh, been such a support to me. Yeah, it's nothing like family supporting you, you know? That's right, uh -oh. it's nothing like Isn't family. Me? I'm showing my closet now. How did I do that? Yeah, I see your closet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I did that. <laughs> and then guess what? <laughs> and I was telling Jarvis, my phone was about to die. Go run and get my charger for now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, I'm I'm looking real sickly over here, but here I am. <laughs> you are not looking sickly. You are beautiful. Oh, thank you, baby. Where's that? Oh. Yvette's online, babe. Oh, hey, sis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you play. Love you too, Ashley. Love you too. Hope to see you guys soon. Your um, sister-in-law's online. Oh, <laughs> hi, Ginger. Thank you, sweetheart. Love you. So for those that are tuning in, we are discussing the second episode of the Speak Up and Inspire series. Um, you can go to my wall. I believe I made it public. Please go to the link. Even if you do not get a chance to um, watch the whole thing right now, because it's an hour long, we have three speakers on there. One of our speakers is Katrina. She's live with us right now. If you can't watch it right now, please save it. Share it on your walls. Please share it with your networks and your groups to help us um, advocate against domestic violence and sexual assault, um, but any violence against families. So please share it with your networks and watch it when you get a chance. It is an hour, but I promise you, it's gonna be the most inspirational hour that you spend this week with your family or just by yourself. Um, Katrina is sharing her story um, and she's live yes. with us right now. Avia shares exactly. her story and also Alicia Richardson. So Katrina, um, just very briefly, I'm actually watching you right now, but very briefly, um, Tell me how you became an advocate or what made you become an advocate and speak up.
Can you hear Thank me, Katrina? You. you breaking up and I, and I think I am too. Um, how I ended up becoming an advocate is that I went through an abusive relationship for nine years. Also, I had abuse in my young, younger age too, as a young girl. Um, and it just made me open my eyes and God put it in my spirit to say, you know, I need to go out here and share my story to help other women. And uh, from that time that I was sitting in the middle of the bed and God said, look, you need to speak up. This is also heal you and show awareness and show women that you don't have to just stay in the dark and not open up your mouth and say anything. And, you know, I want to share also that it was resources and, you know, because I had to learn all of this and I had to learn again. I repeat this so much because it's true. I had to learn to love myself and part of loving myself was to give myself back with my story being out there and letting everybody know all that I went through. So that, that healed me and I want my situation to be a healing to someone else. Yes. Um, for me, um, being a victim of sexual assault at a young age and then being in abusive relationship after abusive relationship after abusive relationship, I just got tired and I needed to break the cycle and um, breaking the cycle meant speaking up. Um, and so I salute you for sharing your story and starting your organization to help others. And I'm, I'm so proud of you and I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Sonia. Thank you for sharing, or so, I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> For those of you who have just joined, we are watching Thank Speak you. Up in a Fire um, series episode two. The link is on my uh, my Facebook wall. So if you do not have a chance to watch it tonight, please save it and share it so that others can listen to it as well. The Speak Up and Inspire series is a documentary for survivors to share their stories about being um victims of domestic violence and sexual assault. So thank you for joining us, Sonia. You can see the link on my personal page. Thank you, Yvette. Thank you, Sierra. Thank you, Sierra. So Katrina, we are going to wrap it up. And I want to thank, thank you, you for, for saying we're both beautiful. You're beautiful as well, Sierra. Um, you met Sierra when you came for the lunch and learn. Do you remember that? Okay. Yeah, she was the young lady that was with us. Oh, Hi, Mariah. You, um... Hello, Mariah. Thank you yes. for joining us. Yes, I remember. Yes. <laughs> So Sonia and Mariah, you just joined. Um, we are actually about to wrap it up for this um, commentary of the second episode of the Speak Up and Inspire series. But you You're can welcome, go to the Sierra. on my page and you can watch the, um, the YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Everyone that's watching, please subscribe to the YouTube channel of the Speak Up and Inspire series and watch episode two featuring Katrina Thomas, who is live with us right now, Avia Terry and Elisa Richardson. Hopefully I will have them on live within the next couple of days so that you can meet them as well. Hi, Mariah. Yes. Um, right now we are having our next uh, Speak Up and Inspire episode three. We are planning that now. So we are looking for two more speakers. If anyone would like to come on the show to share their story, this will be your opportunity to get on the Speak Up and Inspire series. It's going to be November 11th at three o'clock right here in Charlotte. So if you are interested in sharing your story so that you can inspire others to speak up, please contact me. You can go to our Facebook page, Speak Up and Inspire series. Please like it and you can send us a message there. Send us a message there. You will also see the flyer on our page where we are looking for speakers, sponsors, and vendors. Um, but we definitely need two more speakers for the next episode, which will be the third episode on November 11th. So if anyone is interested, please let us know. Hello, Miss Cecilia. 
I am hugging you right now. I miss you and I love you. Hi, Miss Cecilia. Hello, Posh. Hi, gorgeous. Aww. Hello, Posh. Good this evening, is Cedric. Cecilia. Cedric's best friend just came online. Hello. We miss you. All right, Miss Katrina. Well, that is gonna, that's it. Thank you for your time tonight. Hello. Hey, Posh. <laughs> if you're just coming on, which I see a couple of people just came on, we are watching the second episode of the Speak Up and Inspire series. It's a documentary um, that gives survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault a platform for sharing their stories. Please go to the YouTube link that is on my wall right now. You can save it so that you can watch it later, but please share it. Please, please, please share it so that we can continue reaching more people to share our stories, to inspire people to speak up about being victims, but also to um, encourage um, ones who are survivors to speak up and share their story as well and join our advocacy mission to um, reduce domestic violence and sexual assault, but also just violence in the family. So I wanna thank Katrina for joining us live and taking time out to speak with us. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think we have a disconnect. <laughs> I think we have a disconnect or it's kind of slow. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, good night, everybody. And please continue watching if you're watching it right now. Um, again, the link is on my page. Um, you can go to the YouTube channel. Please save it. Please share it. And um, we will see you again soon. If you are ready to share your story on the Speak Up and Aspire series, our next taping is November 11th. Please contact me personally and we can discuss details. Everyone, thank you for sharing. Please share this on your page. Please share the link on your page and have a great night. You too, sis. Love you. Bye.